Retrieving a super heavy and then launching it again in just 37 days is an incredible feat of efficiency. Last year marked SpaceX's most significant achievement with Starship. However, it appears that this record is about to be beaten. Indeed, SpaceX is poised to achieve unprecedented turnaround times with flights eight and nine, redefining the boundaries of operational efficiency. They are not just stopping there. Instead, a bold new strategy is about to be revealed. What exactly is SpaceX's strategy? How is it preparing? Let's dive deeper in today's episode of NR Studio to uncover the details. We find ourselves reflecting once again on the incredible feats SpaceX accomplished towards the end of last year. On October 13th, SpaceX reached a major milestone with Flight 5 by successfully recovering a super heavy booster for the first time using the most complex landing technique ever via the Mechazilla arm. This is a significant step forward in supporting the feasibility of this innovative landing methodology, maximizing Starship's potential for reusability. A little over a month after the previous launch, on November 19, SpaceX executed Flight 6, achieving a remarkable milestone in the program's evolution with a turnaround time of just 37 days between flights. This achievement is not only a milestone for Starship, but also a significant feat for any rocket currently in development. However, one important observation about SpaceX is their unwavering commitment to progress and improvement. They consistently push for faster, bolder, and more ambitious goals. And now we are poised to witness another incredible breakthrough. The highly anticipated Flight 8 is currently scheduled to launch on February 28th. If there are any delays, the schedule could be extended into early March. However, our attention is currently focused on the imminent launch. However, exciting new progress has recently come to light. SpaceX has secured an FCC license for Starship Flight 9, and key details have emerged. The launch date is set for March 1st. For those who may not remember, March 1st marked the inaugural launch of Flight 3 the previous year. While the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, holds the ultimate authority for launch approvals, the Federal Communications Commission, FCC license, significantly serves as a reliable predictor of future events. It is worth noting that the FCC license for Flight 8 began on February 2nd, just four days before the expected launch. If this trend continues, Flight the 9th of May be much closer than our initial estimates, potentially launching as early as March. Now let's explore the astonishing potential that this opportunity reveals. If Flight 9 were to take to the skies as early as March 1st, Flight 8's turnaround interval would be an impressive one day. This scenario could be considered overly optimistic given the highly ambitious schedule. However, even if the launch occurred on the last day of March, it would still result in a mere 31-day turnaround. My informed estimate suggests a potential launch date of around March 21st, occurring less than a month after Flight 8. Regardless, it increasingly appears that SpaceX is poised to surpass last year's incredible 37-day turnaround record. This rapid pace serves as a significant milestone in pursuing SpaceX's overall ambitions. The company aims to conduct 25 Starship flights by 2025, with ambitious plans to increase that to a staggering zero zero flights per year for the next four years. In the more distant future, we may see multiple Starship launches daily, but it's beyond mere frequency. These flights are evolving into increasingly complex and ambitious endeavors. Flight 8 is poised to replicate Flight 7's trajectory, honing in on key objectives like deploying payloads, reigniting engines in the vacuum of space, and executing another super heavy landing using the Mechazilla arm. Nonetheless, forthcoming enhancements will also undergo rigorous evaluation, particularly concerning the ship's re-entry and landing procedures. The V2 updates, featuring enhanced flaps and a more robust heat shield, are poised to be pivotal. Furthermore, SpaceX is required to validate the resolutions for the challenges encountered during Flight 7. This positions Flight 8 as a crucial juncture in the Starship program, seamlessly integrating both established objectives and novel mission aspirations. What is the status of Flight 9? Many initially speculated that it would entail an additional ocean landing for the vessel, functioning as a final practice run, preceding a genuine attempt at a Mechazilla capture. However, the recent disclosure of the FCC license has unveiled a transformative potential. Within the Purpose of Operations section, the document stipulates that the first stage booster and the second stage will either return to the launch site or execute a water landing. 
Indeed, you have interpreted that correctly. Although the phrasing permits a variety of potential interpretations, this marks the inaugural instance of an official document alluding to the possibility of a ship returning to its launch site. Should this be SpaceX's strategy, it would signify a comprehensive recovery endeavor for both the booster and the spacecraft, potentially positioning Flight 9 as the inaugural fully reusable Starship mission in history. In anticipation of this, SpaceX has proactively fortified the vessel with essential enhancements. Should Flight 9 achieve a successful landing of both stages via Mechazilla, it would signify a landmark achievement, demonstrating complete reusability of a space launch system, an unprecedented feat within the aerospace industry. The upcoming weeks promise to be exhilarating as SpaceX ventures to expand the horizons of possibility with Starship. Is there a likelihood they will shatter the turnaround record? Could Flight 9 perhaps stand as the inaugural fully reusable mission? The prospects for groundbreaking achievements have never been more promising. Should you share my enthusiasm, please convey your awe in the comments and do remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel to remain informed about SpaceX's revolutionary journey. In order for SpaceX to realize its lofty objectives, a confluence of several pivotal factors is required. Primarily, the triumph of the forthcoming Flight 8 is of paramount importance. The outcomes of the mission will significantly impact the schedule and goals of Flight 9. Originally, Flight 8 was anticipated to mark the inaugural endeavor of capturing Starship utilizing the Mechazilla arms. However, complications experienced during Flight 7 necessitated a revision of this strategy. SpaceX must initially accomplish several pivotal objectives before progressing to the subsequent phase. The foremost objective continues to be the achievement of a successful super-heavy landing on Mechazilla. Although SpaceX has successfully accomplished soft landings on two occasions, it is imperative to refine this process to guarantee reliability for future missions. Mastering this maneuver will facilitate the development of more ambitious recovery strategies. Subsequently, SpaceX needs to showcase its capacity to successfully execute essential orbital maneuvers. This encompasses the deployment of payloads and the successful rekindling of a Raptor engine in the vacuum of space. Two tasks that will be essential for numerous upcoming missions. The capability to reignite engines in orbit is of paramount importance for refueling operations, deep space explorations, and lunar landings. By foregrounding these objectives at this juncture, SpaceX can redirect its efforts towards enhancing re-entry and landing protocols for upcoming missions. When discussing re-entry, it is worth noting that this phase will undergo intense scrutiny in the context of Flight 8. The enhanced flaps and fortified heat shield are tasked with enduring the rigorous extremes associated with atmospheric re-entry. Should it prove successful, SpaceX may leverage the data to enhance Flight 9, which could potentially signify the inaugural endeavor to capture Starship utilizing the Mechazilla arms. Nonetheless, prior to undertaking that step, it is imperative to master a controlled ocean landing. This assessment will yield critical insights into Starship's descent and stabilization performance, guaranteeing that the flaps and engines operate at peak efficiency prior to the integration of the chopsticks in subsequent recovery strategies. All of these elements render Flight 8 a quintessential mission. The outcomes will determine if Flight 9 can proceed with its launch shortly thereafter and integrate the much-anticipated catch attempt. In addition to the mission objectives, the schedule for Flight 9 will be contingent upon the preparedness of the requisite hardware. Both the Starship S-35 and Super Heavy Booster, B-16 designated for the flight, must undergo comprehensive testing and integration prior to launch. Currently, the production of these vehicles seems to have reached its conclusion. B-16 is anticipated to commence cryogenic testing shortly, thereby safeguarding its structural integrity in the face of extreme conditions. Subsequently, it will return to the manufacturing facility to install its Raptor engines prior to conducting static fire tests. S-35 is expected to pursue a comparable trajectory. However, its static fire test is anticipated to occur at Massey, thereby facilitating a more adaptable scheduling approach. Both vehicles must successfully and efficiently complete their designated tests to remain aligned with the early launch timeline. Simultaneously, SpaceX is advancing swiftly in the development of its ground infrastructure. In addition to the customary refurbishment of Pad A, focus is now being redirected towards Pad B, which has recently undergone a substantial enhancement. The chopstick arms designed to ultimately capture the Starship 
have been completely installed. Moreover, the recent update indicates that a water tank for the deluge system of Pad B has been delivered, signifying that the final installations are approaching completion. Upon the establishment of the infrastructure, Pad B is required to endure rigorous testing to confirm its complete functionality and preparedness for the critical catch endeavor. Given the numerous variables at play, the schedule of Flight 9 continues to exhibit a degree of fluidity. Nonetheless, should all facets unfold seamlessly, hardware evaluations, enhancements to the ground systems, and the successful completion of Flight 8, it stands to reason that Flight 9 could potentially launch by late March. That could prove to be a transformative factor. Should SpaceX successfully implement its ambitious strategy to undertake numerous high-risk endeavors within a condensed time frame, we may observe one of the most exhilarating test flights in the annals of Starship's developmental journey. Are you prepared for what's ahead? Share your thoughts in the comments and stay alert for upcoming updates. In conclusion of today's update, which pertains to forthcoming launches, let us take a moment to discuss China's ambitious Tianwen-2 mission. Recent reports indicate that Tianwen-2 represents a pioneering endeavor aimed at the collection and return of samples from a near-Earth asteroid. On the 20th of this month, the China National Space Administration announced the successful delivery of the spacecraft to the Xichang Satellite Launch Center, representing a significant milestone in its preparatory phase. Regarding the launch timeline, the CNSA has adopted a more adaptable schedule for the initial half of this year. This represents a minor adjustment from the previously anticipated launch timeframe of May 2025. The mission is set to proceed with the launch utilizing a Long March 3B rocket, and as per the most recent updates, all systems are functioning optimally with testing actively in progress. Tianwen-2's primary target is the asteroid Kamaolewa, also known as 2016 HO3, which is a very small near-Earth entity with a diameter ranging from 0 to 100 meters. The asteroid has attracted significant interest because it is thought to be a remnant of the moon, likely ejected into space by a catastrophic impact. If this theory is correct, examining its composition would yield invaluable insights into the moon's history and inform future lunar exploration efforts. The spacecraft is designed to collect and then return between 200 and 1,000 grams of material in 2027. Following the success of this mission, the primary spacecraft will continue its journey to investigate 311 P Pan stars, a comet located in the main asteroid belt. In addition to its scientific objectives, Tianwen-2 marks a significant advance in China's overarching Tianwen initiative. Launched in 2020, Tianwen-1 skillfully facilitated the deployment of the Zhurong rover to Mars. After Tianwen-2, the initiative will move on to pursue more ambitious endeavors. Tianwen-3, anticipated to launch between 2028 and 2030, aims to return samples from Mars, while Tianwen-3 is projected to send spacecraft to explore Jupiter and Uranus. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode.